Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out at 12 o'clock midnight and we're going out foraging for anything we can find again. So stay tuned, it's Smash Fishing baby. Hopefully we get something to eat. Woo! My foraging bag has taken a batter in the last few days. It's got loads of big holes in it. So I brought some carrier bags with me so I can keep some of the catch in. We've got a few different weapons with us today. We've got the good old foraging hook. We've got the mini rake and the net. So we're pretty much going for anything. It is such a calm night tonight. You wouldn't believe it if you go on the east coast it's blowing a force five come to the west coast and it's like there's nothing <laughs> love nights like this let's go get some food yeah loads of crabs no lobsters look at that guys all the netted dog whelks on top of it well they're having a nice feast enjoy boys first lobster of the night here guys check that little beast out just trying to outrun the tide work my way up the gully and lo and behold there is a larry nice little male one what a beauty check that out you can tell it's recently shed because underneath here is very pink look at that feisty little one let's get it back and hopefully we can find his big brother there you go, there's holes underneath this rock, so that'd be good for another day. Nice little top knot there, look at that. Tiny baby flatfish. Beautiful colorations on these things. You see a lot of them underneath the rocks. Little baby orma there. Just scouting about in some pools at the moment, because there's a lot of rocks that don't, they don't look like they've been lifted, so I'm going to give it a go. Decided to get a few clams now, guys. There isn't much around on this beach tonight, so I thought we'd rake up a few clams, see if we can get any of the really chunky ones. This is definitely the ones we wanted. Look at the size of that. That is a beauty of a clam. Dossinia clam, these are called. And hopefully we can get a bag full, because these are the ones I want. Got another beauty there, guys. Look at that one. Nice size Venus, that one. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to start raking up some clams and then we're going to go to another beach and we're going to try and find some cockles as well. So we're going to have a big variety of different clams to eat. Yes. Beauty of a dust in here, clam, that one. Nice big one. That's definitely the one going around. Come on, give us some more. Little sand eel here, guys. It's amazing how fast these things can bury themselves back into the sand. Let's see if he'll do it for us. Not today. There you go. Straight under there. <laughs> Check out the patterns on that one, guys. You've got red and loads of little zigzags all the way along it. Really pretty, some of these clams. Oh yeah, big dots in here, clam. You beauty. Seem to be finding more of these today than the actual Venuses. These are the ones we want. Come on. Yes, got another one. Yeah. <laughs> we don't usually find a ton of these, so I'm really excited that we found a little patch. I'm gonna put them in the bag so they don't fall out of my foraging bag. That tide's coming up fast, so we got a rake. Go for gold, Jay. When I'm looking for clams, guys, what I'm doing is I'm looking for gravel beds. You tend to find a ton more, more clams on the gravel beds. Another sand deal there. Yeah, they're not so much fond of the sand. A lovely little pink one there, look at that. Oh yeah, another Venus. <laughs> Ah, 
sand hills absolutely everywhere around here. Look at them all. <laughs> that for one venus clam uh, it's hard work digging these clams but it ain't after this if you can get a load of big dots in that tide is really whizzing in now i managed to find a couple more there i'm gonna work my way up this little clam bed starting to gather up a few got a few of these really big ones as well these are the ones we want that's hands down the smallest gaper clam i have ever found just raked out the sand tiny little thing it is and he can go back for another day it's now night number two guys i've kept the clams and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and break up some more of these big docinia clams because i really fancied some fried clam so what we're going to do is head back down to the clam bed but first of all we've got the net and we're going to go around see if we can find any fish like bass gilt heads anything anything we can see really i've got a new foraging bag with me today so i can actually put the clams in so all the ones from last night i'm going to chuck in here i'm really hoping we can get loads of these big docinia clams these are the ones we want to fry up because they've got a lot of meat in them and they are absolutely delicious we've got some pretty big venus clams as well I've got the really big rake with me today mainly because the little one is a lot of hard work and it gives you a bad back so a nice big one we can move some gravel today hopefully fill up on some clams first big chunky clam of the night yeah only been here five minutes and check that one out lovely big one these are exactly the clams that i wanted tonight so let's load up the bag i think we have four from last night yeah, four from last night. We could even get rid of the smaller Venus clams yet, depending on how many of these we get. Just going for a scout about while there's a bit of water still over the rocks. It's always worth just heading around the reefs. You never know what you're going to see, really. I've seen all sorts from squid, bass, gilt head, you name it. So uh, it's always worth just popping around to see what you can find. Never seen a clam of that colour before. It's really yellow and it's got these dark red stripes running down it. That's so interesting. If you know the species, guys, stick it in the comments. I'm not sure what that is. It's a pretty little clam. Love doing this. Something really therapeutic about just raking up some clams like this. Just a little bit of hard work sometimes. <laughs> for that for a Venus clam. That's a pretty big one, that. They don't get a lot bigger than that. That could be the banded Venus clam, that with the, the brown stripe through it. Nice. Look at the size of that for a blood worm. It's a nice juicy one, that one is. If I can find enough of these, might use them as bait. Really cool creature. That's the right clam, but <laughs> way too small. Look at how small that one is. Little miniature dust in here, clam. Let's get that back in the sand. That's our next generation right there. Hopefully, we can start finding some big ones. Whew. This is seriously hard work though. I think we should start calling these the hard work clams. Because I have now raked for about an hour to find two of these. <laughs> But they're so big and delicious i really want to get a few i've got about six or seven now but i want about 10. so what we can do is boil these up and then we can put them in a nice bit of crispy powder and fry them up we'll have lovely crispy clams then these are beasts they're worth the effort <laughs> another clam there look at the colors on that that's a seriously pretty clam that one lovely dark colors on it burgundy color dark red really pretty bit small to keep got another species of clam here i'm not sure what the species is i've tried these before these are really delicious if you know the name guys make sure to stick it in the comments i'm always interested to know pretty little clam though oh yeah another banded venus clam there pretty good one 
starting to find a bit more clams here. I'm further up the beach. And it seems to be a little bit more productive. Whoo, this is hard work. You beauty. Haha. <laughs> we got another beauty. Got that tide coming up, guys. So what I'm doing is I'm just raking around right at the low water's edge. Just trying to find any more. These are really hard to come by, but they are so delicious. <laughs> this right here, this is the Warty Venus Clam, guys. Who had a great variety of them today. That's the Warty Venus Clam. You can see all the big ridges and the little warts on it. Cool little creature. They get quite big, these ones. And another one bites a dust. <laughs> another big dust in here, baby. That is me. I am done. I've got a nice old bag of clams in here. So this is our catch for tonight, guys. We managed to get eight of these really big Dossinia clams tonight. And look at the size of those. Delicious they are. I'm so happy we managed to get a few, but we didn't have work for it. And then we got quite a few of the Venus clams, the banded Venus clams. And then whatever clam that is. We got a few of these little ones here. There may be some sort of manila clam, maybe. I'm not too sure. So what we're going to do is chuck those in the basket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up a bottle, bottle of salt water. I'm going to purge these for 24 hours. And I'll see you in the kitchen for the cook-up, baby. Going to have some nice crispy clams. Back in the kitchen now, guys. It's actually been two days because my baby's just been born. I've been back and forth to the hospital. So we're back home for a minute. So what I'm going to do is cook up these clams so they don't get wasted. I have myself a nice lunch before I'm back up there. <laughs> so we've got all of our nice clams here. You can see them with their valves out. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we've got some ash with us. I'm just going to start putting all the clams into here. This is two videos worth. We're just going to put the clams in here, get them boiled up. And we'll get them ready for frying. Look at those delicious clams. So all I'm pretty much doing for this, guys, I've got some water in the pan here. I'm just going to add a load of sea salt. And then what we're going to do is once they've, they've just opened, we're going to take the clams out of the shell, put them in a nice bit of uh, crispy powder and get them fried and we can have some nice crispy clams. You want to smell some clam? Nice big clams as well, bud. You can't have it, but you can smell it. Nice. Nice clams, eh, bud? No. <laughs> so we've got our seasoned water already, guys. And all I'm going to do is pour the clams in. And once they all open, I'll quickly take them off the heat. Then we'll take them all out. As you can see, guys, all of the clams are nicely open now. You see the nice juicy pieces of meat inside. Beautiful. So I'm going to take them off the heat now and we'll start extracting them. Beautiful size clams we've got today. Look at that. Beautiful size meat in there as well. Big juicy clam. That's why I like these clams. You get a real chunk of meat inside them. And as you can see, now you can soon start making a meal. If you had like 10 of these, or even 20 actually, I'm quite greedy. You could have a serious meal. And these are called Dossinia clams. There's other names for them as well, but that's how I know them. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'll get the rest done now, guys. And we're on to the next step. So there you go, guys. That's our Dossinia clams. I've just eaten the Venus clams because I'm greedy. <laughs> so with these big ones, what I'm going to do, just chuck them in the crispy fish fry stuff. I don't really know what it's called actually. Fish crisp. I've used this in the past. It's absolutely delicious. So what we're going to do is just put these in there and pretty much just get them fried up. There we go. Just a nice light coating. Nice crispy clams. You like your carrots, eh bud? It's good for your teeth. Yummy. Nice carrot. I've always wanted to cook clams like this. 
I've never had the opportunity of getting some big enough. You can see, they're about 50p size. Nice thick clams, these ones. That's why I rave about them so much. Oil's nearly there. We get it nice and hot. We get these fried up. I'm gonna start putting the clams in now. We've got our beautiful clams. Smash. Down, please, bud. Thank you. And all we're gonna do is chuck them in, get them all fried up, nice and crispy. These are lovely and brown now. Nice. It's kind of funny, the powder in this, it goes brown inside the oil, so it looks burnt, but it's not. Just gonna let these simmer off nicely. We've got nice, crispy pieces of clam. No smash, it's not for you. So there we go guys, we've got our delicious little clams. This is new to me. I've never really done this before. You stay bud. We've got a nice bit of sweet chili sauce there. Mmm. Those are really good bud. Got smash his own unseasoned clam. Kisses? Oh, kisses. Mmm. It's actually really good. A little bit on the chewy side, I must admit. Mm. Very nice though. I reckon cook them a little bit less. Right, as soon as they go golden brown, take them off. I, I overcook these ones a little bit. But they're not too chewy. Mm. Hey bum. Kisses? Oh, kisses. Mmm. They're good, eh bud? You like clams? I like clams too. Mmm. They're pretty good. Not something I'll go for every day. Definitely prefer them in garlic butter, hands down. But um, still a nice meal nonetheless. Worth a try. But yeah, they go a little bit chewy once they're fried. Mm. One more piece. Got one more clam for you, bud. Kisses. Oh, good boy. Oh, I dropped it. Get it, look. Get it, bud. There you go. <laughs> so stay tuned for the next episode, guys. I'm going to finish off these nice clams. Semi-nice clams. They're tasty, but I don't like the chewiness. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're not subscribed, get down, dog. It's smash fishing, baby. Woo!